Hello, good morning. This is uh, Biomolecular Technology Laboratory at Suno, uh, Sabanji University, and uh, uh, this is a small uh, uh, experimental trial that we uh, want to demonstrate, uh, showing that uh, it is possible to uh, use silica particles as uh, drug cargos. Uh, and in order to demonstrate this uh, uh, experiment, we are taking silica particles of uh, uh, 15 to 20 uh, nanometer por porous structure and uh, uh, utilizing quantum dot with the emission at 625 nanometers appearing red in color. Uh, these quantum dots have similar sizes as that of uh, the pores and these these are the silica particles uh, we will we are trying to see the quantum dots going inside the pores of the silica particles uh, we have uh, developed a special reagent that allows quantum dots to specifically uh, internalize into the small pores present on the silica particles uh, first uh, silica particles uh, will be suspended uh, uh, in uh, water allowing the silica particles to uh, have access to water all over uh, their pores mix well and then uh, This is distilled water. The silica particles were suspended in first water, making them homogeneously suspended. A known quantity of uh, quantum dots will be suspended uh, into this uh, silica suspension. Uh, a known quantity of uh, quantum dots will be added to this suspension and we will see uh, a bright red color fluorescent once we expose it to the UV light. Yeah, that, that's the color we can see. Uh, a small quantity uh, of diluted sample will be added to each of these tubes one of them is the control uh, the main purpose of this experiment is to uh, show the ability of our reagent uh, to and make the quantum dots go into the uh, porous structure of silica particles. So we yeah, we took two samples. Uh, one of them serves as control, and this control sample will not be added with the reagent we developed. But, uh, after mixing shortly, we will expose this, these samples into the UV light. Let's go to the UV light quickly uh, because uh, now is the time to see the quantum dots still remain in the suspension. Yeah, you can see the can you come up here please? Mm. 
So this is how it looks in the beginning. Uh, it is fluorescent all over the tube. Uh, this fluorescence uh, in the suspension in the supernatant will disappear once we add the reagent while in the control sample since we there is no uh, reagent added uh, the quantum dots uh, will remain as is in the supernatant they do, they do not um, get internal porous structure So this is the uh, this is the reagent. Okay, this is the reagent that we developed will be added to the the test sample. The test sample, and the same amount of uh, distilled water will be added to the control sample. This is the uh, control sample, a similar identical volume of uh, water will be added as a control which uh, do not influence the quantum dots to go into the porous structure. Uh, this requires uh, mixing to about uh, two to three minutes and we will come back after two minutes uh, the tubes were just mixed for two to three minutes like this uh, and then uh, we will try again to check uh, its uh, UV emission in the UV light So we we as uh, we assume that the, our reagent uh, enables the quantum dots to go inside uh, the silica porous structure. Um, so we still have uh, some quantum dots left in the supernatant. Uh, we will take the supernatant out uh, by spinning these tubes. Uh, and uh, rechecking their fluorescence emission back uh, after centrifugation. So spin the tubes to remove the supernatant and see if the quantum dots uh, went inside the porous structure of silica particles. These particles are of 1 to 2 micron in size. Uh, with uh, about 15 to 20 nanometers uh, of porous structure all around them uh, it's like a small ball with um, plenty of porous structure in them and each pore uh, on the surface of the particles measures about 15 to 20 nanometers in diameter uh, and these quantum dots that we are using now uh, have the diameter of about uh, around the same size uh, roughly about 15 to 20 nanometers so those quantum dots that have the diameter of uh, less than their pore sizes uh, will get into the porous structure only if uh, the reagent was added so in order to compare uh, the effect of the reagent uh, we uh, took the tests uh, and control samples. The control sample has no reagent in it. Uh, in, a, in, in place of the reagent, same amount of uh, control distilled water was uh, added. So now the, the uh, tubes are centrifuged. Uh, the superintendent will be taken out. Uh, after taking out the supernatant, we will come back and see again in the UV transfer net.
so the superintendent will be taken out in a fresh tube uh, just to make sure uh, how much of quantum dots uh, were went inside the silica particles which can be measured by fluorescence spectrometry uh, which we have uh, we are not going to do at this moment this is a trial experiment uh, for quantity to, uh, uh, experiments we will have to take the measured quantity by weighing the amount of silica particles and by estimating the concentration of quantum dots uh, that will be used uh, that requires standardization and all we have already done it but this is just for the demonstration uh, to see the effectiveness of our reagent so we will go back and see now the uh, silica particles for both control and test samples okay here we go now let's see what happens look at the test sample now, the one that was added with the reagent um, indeed uh, making the quantum dots all go into the porous structure of uh, the silica particles while you have the same amount of uh, uh, the test sample showing no quantum dots uh, and there is little tinge of fluorescence lingering in the control sample that is not derived from the silica particles uh, rather it is coming from the supermetal so uh, it is it is quite clear with this uh, experiment uh, that the reagent that we designed uh, uh, can be used to control the uh, release or uptake of quantum dots inside the uh, silica particles. So uh, we are aiming to functionalize these quantum dots with a with an anti-cancer drug uh, that that can be carried by the uh, silica particles as cargos and. Uh, uh, they can be programmable to release at the target site where the cancer cells are present in the um, in the body. So uh, we can we can control the release of these uh, quantum dots from the uh, silica particles just like we did control of their uptake uh, by using a special way. We are working towards uh, a reagent that allows. Uh, the quantum dots embedded within the uh, silica particle structure to be um, released which can be very much controlled. Uh, again this is uh, a trial experiment we uh, we have so much of uh, more improvement let's see